hi welcome to the vlog so for today's video um i decided to do a little vlog as i already stated in the intro but um right now you're walking me walking me <laughs> see me walking to target this video is actually this footage is a little old um i had been editing this for a while i was waiting to get more clips to add to it to take some old, other clips out but i ended up just forgetting about it hello sabrina um this is a very prolonged <laughs> Um, thing that should have been up. But basically, I'm going in here to look for storage containers because Miss Sabrina decided to um, urinate under the bed um, where conveniently I store my um, bed sheets. Um, they were in these little Amazon fabric um, storage containers. Um, since they're fabric, obviously, they are soluble. I think that's the wrong word I'm using, but they can be soiled. Um, by liquids and stuff like that. And so when Sabrina, you know, decided to urinate, urinate under the bed, um, things got wet. So I had to wash a whole bunch of laundry um, and find a new alternative to that. So plastic containers seem like the best alternative. Um, so that's what I ended up buying. That's what I, my main objective in here to get. I had just gotten off doing some things I needed to do that day. And I was like, let me run into Target before I go home um, and grab some storage containers. Um, and that's exactly what I did. Um... Target has a lot of things that I always want to buy, but I have to like keep on track because I spend way too much money at that place um, to come back with only the universe knows what. Um, but I really do enjoy Target. Like home decor, spot on. Simple home needs, great. Um, but I went out with these Sterilite containers. I think that was the brand actually. Um, and they're the same ones I use for my isopod enclosures um i like them they seem pretty nice seem pretty nicely dutied heavy dutied um i got the two thin ones but later on i did end up getting the giant ones that you see over there that i'm gonna point at now just because i have like quilts and do in like a duvet and a whole bunch of sheets that the small ones just weren't cutting for it so i got I had to get two of those i didn't get those at first because i was kind of nervous they weren't gonna fit under my bed um and this is Target Brands version, which the only reason I don't get those just specifically because they, they're just not as nice quality-wise. Um, but yeah, um, the bigger ones can hold everything. And that's kind of what I have my sheets in now. Um, and I'm happy about that. I need to do like a sheet cleanse, which means I need to go through all my sheets and throw like some older ones away. Ones that either I can't find the matching set to, if it's pillowcases or whatnot. Um, all the white ones I keep because you can buy white pillowcases, you can buy white top sheets for them, etc. Like, there's no problem. But anything else needs to be replaced. Um, just because I, I don't know what happens when I do laundry. Things just get missing. <laughs> Things get missing. I might need to come back and get a third and or fourth one, but I don't also don't have that much room under my bed anymore because I already have two, four. I already have six of these under my bed currently. Um, they're not super small, like they're, they're not humongous, but they're not tiny. I also want a small trash can, but I don't ever want to get one now. I have one of these in my room now. Um, it is not this size though. It is, size of it. I think it's this one. I think it's that one. Okay, sorry for the voiceover. It was just a lot of copyrighted music. <laughs> um, I ended up getting the smaller one um, that was white for my room. Okay, so what I was talking about this kind of lost track. The table's messy. I know. I I cleaned that a while ago. Um, I was doing a huge reorganization. But basically, on this wall, a particular wall in my room, I have two posters. One was a Minecraft poster. It was a fun little cute, simple gift that I got for Christmas last year that I put up. Um, and that was a painting that was gifted to me. I don't know who's the artist. I don't know who's from. I don't know who's by. It was gifted. Um, it's been up here. I've had it for a couple years now. Um, I wanted to cover that, but I didn't want to like to put anything down because with a cat, putting anything down on the floor or like taking it off the walls is dooming it for destruction um, in a way. Uh, so they're still on the wall, but they're just covered by a tapestry because I really want this specific tapestry that fit perfectly in that area. And this day, on this day, my Amazon package finally came in with that tapestry. Sabrina's gonna jump from something. Hi. Um, but yeah, so I decided I wanted to try something new just to give it a different look. Um, and I ended up enjoying it. So you're gonna see that. 
so my main issue with this tapestry or just having tapestries in general is just the way that i hang them up so i like to use velcro it's gentle on the walls um it's pretty simple stick and clip and it's done um but the back these um all my tapestries are pretty much 100 percent polyester i think which basically means they're really smooth right so smooth that the velcro sticky side does not stick for very long or very tightly so they tend to not stay up on the wall long term so especially the back of the tapestries so for my big tapestry that i have behind my bed i ended up sewing the velcro on to the back of the tapestry the only problem with that is is that i don't feel like machine sewing it on there um and also, I just don't know how to do that. It's weird, because the tapestry's big. It's a long, long story to explain, but I, it's just not in my ballpark to do that, right? Um, so I wanted to hand do it. The little plastic thing on it is so hard to stick a needle through that it's it's almost godforsakenly difficult, right? Um, long story short, I ended up doing the regular side, but um, I think I added a little bit of super glue to the back of it just to make it stick a little bit better. Um, that only works temporarily as well. Um, but this is how the tapestry looks. It perfectly covers both posters. It fits in that little wall space pretty nicely. I wish you could see I cleaned up the table um, and did the thing. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me pretty well, but I am currently in Michael's. Um, they're having a huge, well, a crazy huge sale. It's only 10% more of what the sale was last time, but they're having a huge 50% sale on all Halloween decor, as you can see. Um, and all the stuff. The song that I wanted, sadly, is already, you know, gone. They already have Christmas stuff in the forefront, and the Christmas stuff, the Lamax stuff specifically, is already on sale. Um, it's already on sale. <laughs> like, it's already on sale. We're not even in freaking November yet. We're not even midway through, um, o um, October yet, and it's already on sale. So, Michael's is ahead of everything. I have one thing up at the front. It is one of these cute little signs. It was the last one of its type. Like, these are different from the one, but it's the same, like, layout. But I'm looking for stuff to buy, and I really like these wood signs. How much is this one? This is $24.99. Everything is half off, so I don't know if I want to spend almost $12 on this. Which wouldn't be bad, like, right this way. But I'm just looking for stuff that I actually have room for. Like, that's something that could easily go on the top of my bookshelf, or on a dresser, or in front of my TV. Or even drilled in the back and hung on the wall. Like I can find somewhere. This is cute. $17.99. So I'm looking for some stuff. I would really love like a um I'm really looking for a 60 to 70 percent off sale, which will probably happen um this upcoming because this is like all the Halloween stuff and then up here. Christmas. The Lamax stuff is right there. But Christmas, Christmas is already at the front of the store. Um, oh, these are spooky tones, but these are cute. These would be half off, which would be a decent price. Sticky mask. Is this like a museum wax? Because I kind of need some of these. I have a cat and I have decor that's up all year round, so, and I have shelves, so you can kind of put those three things together and figure out what can happen and what tends to happen. So, something of that sort would be very useful. Now these lights I didn't get last time because I didn't have a spot for them. I still kind of don't. I mean, I did move my lights to one side of my room. Um, but I just, this is cute. <laughs> Running pumpkin, actually, this is really nice. Is this considered the Halloween? Or was this put in the wrong section? Because this gives fall. It's $50. But yeah. Um, these prices, like for the pillow wise, the prices that they are are the prices that they should have been the, at the beginning, like honestly. Like this pillow is $34. Like it's half off. The half off price is what it should have been to begin with. They would have sold a lot more. But I don't want, I, I'm kind of nervous about waiting longer to see if any of that stuff gets on sale because there are a couple things that I do want. Um, but I have to. I don't have to wait, like I can, there are a couple of things that I do want, there are a couple of things that I do want, it's just that 
I don't want to bite the bullet and buy them right now if there's a chance that they're still going to be going to go on sale. And none of the stuff that I'm waiting on, I, I, can, I, like, I can live without them. I don't necessarily need them. I'm looking for like a wood finished sealant, like something that basically makes wood not waterproof, but weather resistant or water resistant. Because I am going to use as caskets. I don't know if I'm going to include that footage or not. That I already recorded, but I'm going to re record some footage of it. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to know fairly soon. Um, I'm going to pull my mask down some because it kind of got hard to breathe for a second. Um, but yeah, I am looking for that. I might have to go back to the front and ask like, if they have that and also like what direction it would be in. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go ahead and do that. I think they're still having their canvas sale. If not, they're having a canvas sale of some sort. Um, at least online that you could probably get in the store because it's they didn't have any signs up beforehand, but it did, also didn't have any signs. They were having a 70% off on their canvases the first time. As you can see, this footage is quite old. Um, this is before Halloween even happened. Uh, and what, we're on November 8th today, I think. November 8th. Um, yeah, so this footage is quite a bit old. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I went into Michael's specifically just to see what they were doing for their, um, sales and stuff like that. Uh, they had a huge amount of sales and I went back recently. I don't know if I actually vlogged any of that. Um, if I did, it'll be this next, next upcoming video. Um, but basically they had a whole bunch of just like, I think it was what, 65, 75% off, 50% off, something like that. I can't remember. <laughs> it was one of those three sales. Um, they had a huge sale for that. There was not very much left. I really wanted one of those spooky pillows, and I was hoping that it was going to be on sale because I just couldn't justify spending $39 on a freaking pillow. Um, even when it was 50% off, I still just couldn't justify that price. It was just like, eh. But um, as you can see, they already had some of the Christmas Village stuff up and stuff like that um, from, I think it was Lamax as well. Um, yeah, I, they didn't have anything on the specific... Because, um, like, they didn't have anything specifically on that little clearance shelf because everything Halloween and fall was on the clearance shelf they didn't have anything on there the clearance shelf was like the size of if I can turn the camera if I ever turn the camera around like one of these little white ones these little white shelves right there to my um to the left um it was the size of that and they only had pretty much just like arts and craft that were Halloween and fall based there everything else is pretty much gone I truly don't feel like they sold everything I just feel like because every time I came back yes there was a little bit less and less of the back shelves but these front shelves were always filled I personally just don't see how all of that went like was sold out that quickly and that's all they had left so I personally they put a lot back in stock because like look at all of this there's no way all that sold out there's no way all of that sold out so I'm like 100% sure they put some of that stuff back for next year um they probably had certain things out because you would expect to see some of like some of this stuff was up there very few of it but there's no way all that stuff sold out I I personally don't believe it <laughs> you can pay me to believe it so I expect to see a lot of this stuff next year um, at Michael's. Okay, so I thought I would go ahead and show you what I have going so far on, on the bookshelf. So again, this is mostly my decorative shelf. It has books up here, decor, etc. Um, but I'm gonna, I want to go ahead and walk you through it. So I pull the plates forward um, so they're a lot closer to the front. And I actually could probably pull them a little closer but again I have a cat so we only want to go so close <laughs> um but I do have a duplicate of this one I bought one recently um but it is a purely it is a um coaster for my nightstand only <laughs> like it's, it's I'm using it as a coaster so over time it might look a little rigid and raggedy but I do have a double of this one um but we have this going on. I kind of want to add something to the back. I don't know if I want to get some... I want to get some of those fake candles from Amazon. Um, the ones that flicker. I'm going to get some of those. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what I bought from Michael. So you already know about the spray. But I also got this. I seen it. I thought it was so cute. I just I just had to have it. It's Old Salem Broom Co. Um, since 1962. 1962. I, obviously, I can't see. <laughs> since 1692. Um... But yeah, I just, when I seen this, I, first of all, love the color orange. So this orange, like, emblem in the middle with the, well, it's actually a logo, I guess. 
with the um, orange outer pop and then the black making it pop with the white. I was a sucker for it. And again, they were having 50% off sale. So this retailed for $14.99, I believe. So I ended up paying like $7 for this. So cool. I'm kind of having a hard time to find where to put it. Right now it's on the bookshelf and I think it actually kind of looks nice. We're kind of zoomed out, but it, it fills in more. When the camera zoomed out, it looks like there's so much space everywhere, but these items fit into their spots a lot better than it's looking um, like. And I think the book, this bookshelf will look a lot better once I get more books to build the background up, like kind of, kind of what's going on here. Like it looks a lot better to have some something going on, going on in the background and then a piece of Halloween decor kind of just popping in the front that just takes your focus. What is, which I guess is what I'm trying to do with these. I'm a struggle to talk, which is what I'm trying to do with these. So like, you're gonna have a little pop of Halloween decor, then books in the background. But right now they're working this to hide cups and hydrometers and other stuff. And this is a Halloween decoration I got from years ago, um, from the dollar store, I think so. I need to find a store to put that, but that's what's going on there. That's what I purchased. I love it. I love it. Um, I did take some footage inside of Michael's, so you've already seen that, obviously. Um, depending on how I edit this vlog, because recently I've been editing vlogs kind of funny. <laughs> like, I don't always go in um, chronological order. So, that. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so I'm going to go ahead and... I guess I'm going to end this video here. There's not really much else.